scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Can I tell you this? Do not forbear with evil tonight. Do not forbear with anything that does not name the name of Christ. Do not give excuses. You are going to pray and you will insist that everything that is not consistent with the counsel of God as revealed from scripture, tonight is the night you will wave it a final goodbye. Can you rise up on your feet as we pray in one minute? It's going to be very, very fast so that we don't keep us uh, too long here. But then I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Please lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Pray. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your life. Pray over your destiny. Pray over your health. It's a new season by the Spirit of the Living God. Following online here in the auditorium, lift your voice and pray. Man of God, you are praying. It's a new season. hallelujah hallelujah now let me say this by the grace of god i want to assure you by the spirit of the living god that god has granted us by the privilege of his grace the wisdom and the word compliancy to dispense the gifts of the spirit within the boundary of scripture you need not fear regardless the extremities of the manifestations by the grace of god we are dealing here with a system that honors god and is consistent with the ways of god so every prophetic word every manifestation of the spirit and every administration of the power of god that will happen here i want you to trust that it will happen within the boundary of scripture find confidence and let your heart be open to receive i say this because i know that many of us may have had all kinds of experiences with the prophetic experiences with the miraculous and chances are that when the power of god is about to dispense be dispensed on this wise there can be that fear we can close our hearts in a bid to escape error in a bid to not get into anything that is extra biblical i want you to know that we love jesus we fear him and he's cultured us and trained us well we came out of the experience the dealing of the spirit it's not just an anointing that came we were taught and we were sent so find confidence that the administration of the power of god as you will be experiencing here will be within the boundary of scripture aimed at revealing jesus and bringing him glory are we together 
now you pray father let your power touch me let it rest upon my life let it change my life go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, for the sake of space, when, if for any reason, there is a call to bring out those under the anointing, may I request that we just maintain the gaps at the edges so that we don't, the space here is limited so that we can honor the servants of God just here, right now. And then, we are going to be very very fast on this i'm going to be praying for the sick but right now i just saw light and without shouting without doing anything just bring all the people under the anointing now as the power of god begins to fall on people right now as i'm speaking the power of god and the light of god just from the left to the right i just saw that light right now please bring them the power of god is going to begin to rest on people and this anointing that is coming on people is for restoration this is what i'm seeing in the spirit and there are people here who have been tied down there are people here who the lord is bringing restoration please bring all of them out right now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare may that grace for restoration rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus, right to the back. It's, it's, it's something you can't stand. We're talking about the power of God here. From the left to the right, the extreme of this auditorium. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just do well to help anyone under the anointing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. May that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus christ please bring them out who is grace i'm hearing a name grace who is grace is there anyone with that name i presume that there may be lots of people grace this person i'm talking about you are wearing i'm seeing like white and yellow you are wearing a trouser is there somebody like that You are wearing white and yellow. That's what I'm describing. Who is that? I can't see anybody. Oh, I see. The Lord is saying it's a new season for this lady. I don't know who she is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing a woman five years. Five years. You are yet to have the fruit of the womb. You are yet to give birth. Five years. You are on this road. God is telling me you are here. Is there someone like that here? Just here. We have to hurry up for time. Please, if you find her, let her come. Your life is about to change. Madam, run and come to Jesus. Here at House on the Rock, he's giving you an encounter. Atmosphere shift now. Change be broken. Please let them come. I'm hearing a name Nike. It's like the short form of a whole name. Nike, is there someone with such a name? Madam, you are the one. I'm seeing the Lord is saying, number one, I don't know what it is. I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? The Lord is shifting something in your body. This is what I'm seeing. Please lay your hand on your stomach. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me that He's bringing you a miracle. This is what I'm. Is this your husband? Sir, can I pray for you, ma? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I do not know you, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare right now that this thing that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been trusting? 
your own huh? your grace please bring for me two people that shout loud right now under the anointing there is such I just saw light that fire this is a very loud shout I want to pray Please, I want you to believe, even if it is 10 minutes, I want you to know that something must rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing this one, two, three, the third row, the third row here. There are some of you, the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this row. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I, I ask them to come out. Are they here? I want you to believe in Jesus. Don't worry. Just take your eyes away from whatever medical report. Believe in Jesus. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. We're going to make this very fast. I just saw that fire come on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to the time of life, please just place your hand on your stomach if you can. Why is she here? She was under the anointing there. Look at me, madam. You believe in Jesus? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I declare, this that I see on you, let it loose now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever, never to return again. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who are here, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the time of life, return with miracle children. House on the Rock, agree with them. Return with miracle children. Return with miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please quickly return to your seat. Someone among the people who were ministering here to Hila, I just saw the power of God. That's where the choir is. There's one of you. I know that maybe right now, the Lord is saying to that one person that you are stepping into a new season. A new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. A new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. There are four men of God here. You are in ministry. I just saw a strong anointing resting upon you. Four people. I know that we may pray for other people, but I don't know where the four people are by the spirit of god wherever you are in the name of jesus this grace for a new season in ministry let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you now my friend there's a gentleman on suit this man lift your hands i just saw light coming on you take that grace now in the name of jesus christ let it be a new season for you you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ never be the same in the name of jesus christ who works here with firsc that's federal inland i just saw that name firsc you are wearing white no not this man you are it's like you are somewhere there is there some please come your life is about to change Please verify. Is there someone to? Where do you? God bless you, sir. Where do you work, sir? FIRSC. Yes. How long have you been there? For ten years now. Ten years. Yes, I want to because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. It's a new season for you. Can I pray for you? Who works with Indians? I'm seeing a man and I'm seeing Indians. Is there someone like that? You work with it. Oh dear, this. You work with Indians. Come.
I want to pray for you, sir. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing like a scepter given to you. And the Lord is saying is a new season. This thing will happen within the next six months. The way God will move you, it will surprise you. You believe what I'm saying? And now I, I don't mean to speak against any tribe, but what I'm hearing, you see, when God places, when God is determined to lift you, whether it's a donkey, whether it's a Cyrus, he will use anyone and anything to lift you. This is what is happening to you. I pray for you by the spirit of the living God. Joining faith with the servants of God here, I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord, let it be for you now. In Jesus' name. And for you, my brother, may the Lord help you. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for someone. I don't want you to be embarrassed. I usually would not do this except that God asked me to do it. You are a driver. But I want to pray because you have been seeing yourself starting a business. I want to pray for you. Your life is going to change. This is what you do. It's like you drive. That's what I'm seeing. But you are about to start a business. And the Lord wants me to just pray and speak over your life. If there's someone like that... Uh, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man wearing blue, complete blue. This is what I'm seeing. Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is the house of God. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. My friend, please come. Can I tell you, listen, listen. The house of God is a place of power. God does not just bring successful people. He makes successful people out of the house. Are we together now? Let me use this opportunity to decree already over someone that in the name of Jesus, whatever level you have seen now, by prophecy, I push you to the next level. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. Step into a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. What do you do, sir? You drive your own private vehicle? Your own private vehicle? Yeah. I do Uber. Okay, no. Uber. You two, same thing. And this man? Not my own, sir. But you're driving someone's own. Where are you from? I'm from Adamastu, sir. Mm. I want to pray for you. Look at me. I'm seeing the Lord use agriculture to lift you in a way that will surprise you. This man, I don't know you from anywhere, but God is connecting you. Agriculture is what I see God using to honor and bless you and to lift you. And I stretch my hands, my friend, may the power that makes this happen, let it rest upon you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sirs, by the spirit of the living God. I'm seeing according to that vision, you starting a business. May the grace that makes things work, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. All of you, in the name of Jesus, Within months, you will return with tearsome testimonies. In the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, I want to pray. I believe in speed. There truly is a grace for speed. Destiny is a function of time. And whatever impedes you has taken a portion of your destiny. Is it all right if I minister that grace upon you? Truly, there is a grace for speed. Speed of accomplishment. I want to pray for you. Now, every time I pray this, here's what I want you to do. Please, I want you to help those who will begin to run by the Spirit so that we don't have any injuries. The power of God will rest on people and literally, they will find themselves running by the Spirit. The hand of God is resting upon them. I don't know... I don't have any personal relationship with this woman who ministered but madam i don't know what it is that you have to do with united kingdom because i'm i just i just had a vision and i saw you in, in uk and i don't know what this is maybe a program you are going or something god is doing for you and your husband is it all right if i just speak over you in the name of jesus christ whatever it is that is in uk that is for you in the name of jesus let it look for you until it enters your hand by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree this and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to pray that grace for speed.
My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn, and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head, you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I stretch my hands right now everyone here who has suffered any kind of delay there is a strong anointing coming on you right now at the count of three one two my god help them three take that grace take that grace speed all over the building i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost speed in ministry speed in business speed in your life May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. I release you by the prophetic. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab. Down to Jesus. Run like Elijah. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed over your life. Supernatural speed over your destiny. Many of you will stand to testify here that at this conference, the Lord shifted you to, to seasons and realms beyond your imagination. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and he says that name is above every other name that at the mention of that name every knee shall bow I want to rebuke every wind that has been causing the storm to rage for you there are spirits that are back of the tragedies in the lives of men there are spirits that are back sir can i pray for you this man i don't know who you are but i just saw light coming on you and i want to pray for you because the lord is taking you to a level beyond your imagination i stretch my hands towards you sir and i declare let this anointing rest upon you let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus christ and that everything that does not name the name of Christ in your life, let it give way right now. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Paul was speaking to the church in Thessalonica. And he said, I desire to come to you again. Even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Satan can use manifestations of spirits, systems and structures. To block people from making progress I want to declare against any spirit that is not of the Christ and the moment I pray please anyone who is manifesting here you just help them so they don't injure themselves are we together now my God Hallelujah. 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 spirit that is not of the Christ tormenting lives and destinies tying down the glory of people I want to pray for you and at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name exalted above every name every throne every dominion and hear me at that shout if God be God then everything that has held you down 
even if it is Jericho. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every yoke of darkness, release those people now. In the name of Jesus, release destiny. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives, according to scripture, shall be delivered. I'm still praying. Some of you are standing here for your families, not just for yourself. If there is any one of your family members under any kind of yoke of captivity, because you are here at this conference, I bring life to them now. Victory to them now. Freedom to them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. You work in Access Bank. I just saw that logo. Access Bank. I want to pray for the sick now. But the Lord just gave me this word. Gentlemen, you work in Access Bank. In fact, it's like you came from the bank to this place. You are wearing a, you are wearing it. Uh, okay, come. But I'm seeing in my vision, it's like blue. It's a light blue. But you come. But this, where, okay. You work in Access Bank? Please come. Both of you, all of you. I'm seeing four people. This is what I'm seeing. One, two, three. But I'm seeing a fourth person again. Access Bank, sir. God bless you. Can I pray for you, sirs? Listen, let me tell you this. Every gift and every grace that God gives a man is not for that man. It's for the body of Christ. I can assure you that the days of superstar Christianity is over. We are here as vessels revealing Jesus joining our hands as the body of Christ to exalt Jesus and show the world that he's alive. This is what this is all about. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about some man of God. Thank God for the gift. But I can tell you we are only ushers. We direct men to Jesus to help them know that he's alive. Are we together? If you ever find yourself being mightily and marvelously used by God, let me encourage you, do not be ashamed to let the nations know that your assignment is to project Jesus. It is only when he is lifted up that he draws men to himself. Are we blessed? I want to pray for you, sir. How long have you been in Access Bank? Will you believe what I'll tell you? Yes, sir. That your time there is almost coming to an end yes sir but you've seen it yes it's not something i'm just saying yes you've seen it yes and that the lord is going to lift you yes you are in abuja here yes what is taking you to lagos because i'm seeing you go to lagos Hallelujah. in the name of jesus christ my brothers i agree with you standing on the grace of your pastor i decree and declare a strong anointing is coming on you my brother this man i prophesy to and in the name of Jesus, God is going to connect you to a very wealthy man. And that man will be used by God to change your life. May that grace rest on you. So let it be in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, sirs, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May the Lord show you favor. May the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus, you will go and prosper. You will go and experience increase. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the cry of a baby and it's a baby boy and the Lord is telling me there is a family you've had a child but you are trusting God for a boy I don't know who that person is and you are in, you are in front where are you coming from madam 
Is that true? I, I, I hope you're not embarrassed. Can I pray for you? You believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Madam, you're a member of this church? No, sir. Now, when, no matter where you are, let, do me a favor. When the boy comes, come and stand here and testify. Sorry, so sorry. I hope it's not you. My dear, you're trusting God for this miracle? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That is it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I pray for you. Where is your husband? I want to pray for you there is a marvelous financial miracle this be even beyond this prayer that I'm praying that is coming for you and your husband but I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands a strong anointing is coming upon you now and in the name of Jesus this grace this grace is what will make this prophetic word come to pass I release that grace upon you right now in the name of Jesus and for my sister here in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare, according to the word of the Lord and for the glory of the King, let this be for you. In Jesus' name. Did I pray for you, sir? I can't even remember why he's out. FIRS, I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. How long have you worked there? Ten years. Huh? Ten years. Ago. Ten years. I'm seeing you have something to do with politics or a politician. What? Huh? What, do you, what else do you do? That's, what I do the That's all you do. I want you, do not fight it. When that drive for politics comes, it's in your destiny. God has shown you this thing already. Even before you started working, I release that grace upon you now. May the grace that makes this happen. Listen, let me tell you this. The church, God has given the church and he has given vessels in the church certain graces called a kingmaker anointing. A kingmaker never sits on that throne himself, but he can enthrone and dethrone. The church is actively part of government. Are we together? Yes. Just close to the people sitting at the front here, I'm seeing the power of God come on one person. Um, just this, like this, right there, this row. I don't know why, but it's just a miracle. I'm going to pray for the sick right now, but I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. May that strong anointing rest upon you supernaturally. Let it shift you to a new season by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I just take out five minutes to pray for the sick? My sincere apologies. I know that there are people who have come here trusting God for healing. Do you believe in healing miracles? Please lay your hands. Here's what I want you to do for me. I've been given a bit of time but I will not abuse that that privilege so we'll still walk within the boundary of the time given but here's what I want you to do I'm going to pray a simple prayer in the name of Jesus remember my illustration about light and darkness because that light is about to come up right now are we together and I'm going to pray for you in mass the power of God is coming on one person with hepatitis now the power of God I'm going to pray for everyone but that one person you will be healed right now right at the back that's what I'm saying is there someone like that right at the back you are healed now of hepatitis right there in the name of Jesus now I'm going to pray for you and as soon as I pray for you, I want you to please check yourself. We're not pretending this is no show. This is the power of God. I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, let's have it, even if it's just one or two testimonies of the marvelous hand of God, and then I just speak over your life and we're done. Is that fine? Please lay your hands very quickly. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles blood conditions negative medical reports you are here working miracles i worship you 
across this place now now two things will happen and the healing power of Jesus will begin to touch people two people are going to start running out by the anointing please hold them wherever they are honestly I don't know why God does these things sometimes but they are just signs and wonders when that happens the healing power of Jesus will begin to move two people literally the power of God will come upon them that's one there Now I can pray. How God does these things and why he does it, sometimes there are signs and wonders. There is one more person right now. The power of God, literally, the person will start running. Please just hold the person so he doesn't enjoy himself. And then I begin to... <laughs> it's very funny how these things work sometimes. Now I'm ready to pray. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a believing amen. amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I rebuke every spirit that is back of every infirmity, every disease. I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be gone now in the name of Jesus. And every sickness every infirmity in the name of jesus the christ of god be healed now blood conditions be healed now my god my god my god such a wave of glory the anointing is just sweeping across the length and the breadth of this place healing is coming i'm seeing the lord heal lumps lumps like lumps breast lumps be healed right now be healed right now help them please be healed my god be healed right now there's someone having severe pain around the lower back area severe pain in fact i'm literally feeling that pain on my own back i decree and declare right now be healed in jesus name madam the woman laying her hands on her head i just saw oil keep that hand on your head I saw oil coming on you and the Lord is saying this infirmity goes now. I stretch my hands. Be healed now. Be healed now. The power of God is touching you right where you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Headache, migraine headache goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Anyone having any malignant growth or any kind of growth whatsoever we command that growth to dissolve from your body now cancer be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone God is healing you you don't have to come out but what we know as impotency the Lord is healing someone of that condition right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you have breathing problems you really cannot breathe like breathe normally the power of god is touching you a miracle is happening to you right now right now right now a miracle is happening please help her help her help her just hold her she's coming out by the anointing so she doesn't fall be healed now in the name of jesus christ peptic ulcer be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord is showing me, I'm seeing someone there is, it looks like a boil, but it comes out in a particular part of your body. You keep treating it and treating it and it keeps coming again. The power of God is touching you right where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone, you came here with severe pain. I'm seeing pain around your shoulder here. You are at the back. The power of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus, every other situation be healed right now. 
be healed right now in fact there's someone you are having um i don't know what this is called it's it's not yes your throat like tonsillitis severe pain you almost cannot swallow as soon as i'm done praying you check yourself that devil leaves your throat right now someone your left eye your left eye seems you don't see very clearly with your left eye the power of god is coming upon you now and i declare that that blood vision is is perfected now 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 in the name of jesus christ every blind eye be open whether partial or total blindness be healed now hear me if there is anyone here who cannot walk well whether you're on a crutch or you're on a wheelchair stand up now in the name of jesus any pain around your limbs in the name of jesus if you're on crutches i release the power of god be healed right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who has struggled with pile please hold on this is a very severe case of pile very severe case of pile the power of god is coming on you you will know you are healed because the pain leaves you now the pain leaves you now in the name of jesus christ um i don't know what medical condition is it that prohibits eating starch but i'm seeing someone your a doctor was warning you to not eat starch because of a medical condition you have the power of god i don't know who that person is but the power of god is touching you right now now for sake of time whether or not i mention your case from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now my sister that lady waving her hands i'm seeing the power of god come on your stomach there is something that is going out right now i decree and declare i stretch my hands towards you let that devil leave you now in the name of jesus christ now very quickly some of you even whilst you were under the anointing something happened to you i want you to check yourself we have just two minutes i don't want to abuse the time we need to shame the devil here at house on the rock the refuge are we together wherever you are check yourself the moment you find out that you could do something you couldn't do please be very bold i like you to use either this place or that place celebrate them people are coming out if i can have just one or two of the pastors or just just someone so we take one or two testimonies check your vision check everything is this how you celebrate miracles my god is this how you celebrate miracles dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord, grant me the discipline.